Let's go over some of the differences here between the beaches in Florida and the beaches in California. So anybody who watches my channel might know that I live right on the beach in Miami Beach, Florida. And so I have a pretty good authority to make a video like this. And I'm gonna point out some of the differences that I see here that are pretty major that most people probably wouldn't know if you are not a regular beach goer. The first thing and one of the most important things is the sunshine in the sky. Check this out, guys. I'm going to do a 360 here of the sky. You see that? Nothing but blue. We usually don't get that in Florida. Almost every single day in Florida, you're going to find some sort of clouds in the sky. With the exception of winter time, sometimes we'll have days like this that are super clear. And in fact, even though this is summer here in California, it actually feels like a winter day that we would have in Miami Beach in a lot of ways, which I'll explain here pretty soon. So one of the ways that it feels like winter in Miami Beach, even though it's summer in California, is the air temperature. It's only like 73 degrees here today, which is outstanding. I love that. And anybody who's seen my winter videos in Miami Beach knows that I love winter in Miami Beach. And so that means I love summer in California because it's basically the same thing as far as the air temperature goes and as far as the water temperature as well. Everybody probably knows that the water here on the Pacific Coast is a lot colder than it is in Florida. And I can totally confirm that it definitely is colder. Although on a nice warm day like this, it doesn't bother me at all. And in fact, I prefer when the water's colder like this, when it's nice and warm outside, because it's nice and refreshing to get in. You feel exhilarated for a minute once you're in the water and you get out and the sun will warm you up. Now, let me point out a couple other things here that are quite different than the beaches in Florida. So this beach here, which is Hermosa Beach, and then you have Manhattan Beach up that way, and then Redondo Beach down that way is massive. And what I mean by massive is just the sheer size of the actual sand part of the beach here. There's just a ton of it. Like you have to walk quite a bit of ways to get back to the boardwalk area over there and by all of the buildings. You can just see by where I'm walking here just how much surface area of the sand and the beach there is here. This is pretty uncommon in Florida. The only place I can even think of off the top of my head that's sort of like this is South Beach down in Miami Beach where I live. This South Beach area does have a pretty wide beach area, but it's not even as wide as this. So that's another main difference that I can show you right here. One other important point to mention is that yes, in Manhattan Beach and Hermosa Beach, the beach over there is very wide, but it's very important to note that places like over here in Hermosa and probably a lot of other beaches in California are also very narrow like we have in Florida. So not every single beach in California is super wide. This beach is also pretty narrow, actually the most narrow one I've seen so far in California. Another huge difference and one of my favorite things about the beaches here in California is you see all those buildings? Those are all just houses and tiny little condos as far as the eye can see. And this is as far as the eye can see. I'm zooming in for you to show you as far as the eye can see. So anybody who's ever been to Florida or has watched some of my videos or knows where I live in Miami Beach, if you were in Miami Beach, you would be seeing nothing but high rise buildings here. And that comes with some pros and cons. So let's go over those right now. So I was checking the price of these oceanfront houses here because honestly, I would love to live in one of these houses, to be quite honest. However, they are extremely expensive, guys. We're talking anywhere between usually $4 million up to around $20 million, depending on the house. You might be able to get a condo here on the beach for around one or two million, but even that's pretty cheap for this area. So. The price difference to live on the beach in this area is huge compared to Miami Beach and a lot of other areas in Florida. 
because you can still live in a nice oceanfront condo in a lot of areas in Florida for half a million, sometimes even less, depending on the building and the neighborhood and the town. But here, that is absolutely impossible. So, and that's why it comes with the pros and cons of, well, it's nice to have the sun at the beach all day because that's east and then behind me is west. So literally you have sun at the beach all day. There's no high rises blocking the sun here. But the good thing about having all the high rises on the beach is the fact that there's just more affordable housing options on the beach so people like me can afford to live on the beach because I'm going to be real with you guys if it wasn't for having the high rises on the beach I wouldn't be able to afford to live on the beach in Florida where I live so that's definitely part of the pros and cons of the type of housing that they have on the beaches here in California versus Florida and pretty much all of California and Florida are the same in this manner you really have mostly low-rise buildings like this on all of the California beaches and in most of Florida you have pretty much all high-rise condos for the most part and if they're not high-rises they're usually mid-rise buildings meaning they're kind of like maybe 12 to 15 stories on the smaller side. A couple of the other differences I notice is just this whole area by the water down here is massive as well and you really got to go quite far out into the water to get in over your head here at the beach at Hermosa and I'm not really sure if it's high tide or low tide right now but it was the same thing when I was here yesterday and also the type of seaweed you see that here in the Pacific they have a ton of these kelp forests right off the coast here and so the majority of the seaweed that you see here is like from that kelp forest and it looks very different than the seaweed that we have in Florida. We don't have kelp forests off the coast in Florida. It's more coral reefs. And so the type of seaweed that we have over there is also much different looking than what they have here. The intensity of the sun. So it's September 7th today. And in Miami, I guarantee you, if you go outside for like an hour with no sunscreen, you're gonna get scorched. Here, I'm in Hermosa Beach. And I only have sunscreen on my face and I can tell I'm not even getting burned at all on the rest of my body. So just the overall intensity of the sun is quite a bit lower here. And it feels very similar to when I was just back home in Illinois. You know, I spent some pool days at home with my mom at her pool and just, you know, laying by the pool over there. The intensity of the sun felt pretty similar to what I'm feeling here in Southern California so really not much different than being in Illinois in the summertime but being down in South Florida versus right here I would say the intensity of the Sun is much greater in South Florida than in Southern California another thing that I noticed right away as soon as we arrived in Hermosa yesterday is the amount of sea mist in the air I feel like the sea mist here there's a lot more of it in the air than we have in Florida. And the funny thing is, I was checking the weather reports and it turns out the humidity level here in Hermosa Beach is almost identical to what we have in Miami Beach, which makes a lot of sense considering that you're right by the ocean and there's water everywhere. But the curious thing is that it doesn't seem to have such a terrible impact on your bad hair days and things like that that I've mentioned in some of my past videos and it doesn't feel muggy like you normally would feel anywhere in Florida this time of year not just in Miami so you don't have that muggy feeling even though there's humidity here by the beach which I find fascinating I'm not really sure what's the explanation for that but I'm just giving you my real-time report of what's really going on here as I'm here and going off of that point on the sea mist even further is you can like breathe it you can smell it in the air way more than in florida in my opinion and i just toured the whole state of florida a few months ago guys and i was in a bunch of different beaches and a bunch of different areas of the state and being here in california the moment you get within like a mile of the beach like you can already smell it not saying like it smells bad or like dead fish or anything like that 
but like the actual moisture the the sea mist in the air you can smell pretty intensely the moment you arrive close to the beach and I don't feel that anywhere in Florida you do have a little bit of that but you got to be really close to the water I would even argue as close as the boardwalk in order to even feel that at all but here you can kind of feel that anywhere you are close to the beach and every single breath of air I take in feels so fresh it's just like a cool type of air that has moisture in it which I'm just totally not used to as somebody else who lives on the beach also another big one the crowds at the beach so yesterday was Labor Day and we arrived here on Labor Day and this beach was absolutely packed as you can see in my footage here and then today it's pretty empty which is very similar in Florida like where I live in Miami Beach it's always pretty much empty with the exception of when there's a holiday weekend it can get pretty busy and even more so in South Beach so being here yesterday was kind of like being in South Beach but without the riffraff it was a lot of families and people just having fun it wasn't like the ghetto crowd that South Beach has been attracting now for years so that was really nice even though it was crowded here it didn't feel unsafe or just weird you know the crowdedness of the beach is pretty similar to most places in Florida you're gonna get a lot more crowds on the weekends and holidays and holiday weekends especially like yesterday so I'm glad that we're gonna be here for a couple days that are not holidays just regular days during the beach because anybody who knows me knows that I love when the beach is empty like this so I am absolutely loving it oh yeah and I almost forgot another huge difference between the beaches here in California and Florida is you gotta worry about great white sharks here and yeah that could happen in Florida and of course we have other types of dangerous sharks in Florida too but I think everybody's seen the movie Jaws and personally that scares the living shit out of me so I would not be out there for a swim I get in and out of the water just like I do in Florida but that's about it yesterday there was a guy swimming like way out there it's like man I would never be doing that and they even have a sign right up here on the pier saying that catching great white sharks is illegal so they're definitely here because they're an endangered species and you're not allowed to fish for them here's a quick little similarity we got the same little seagulls I did see a different type of seagull here yesterday like a gray one if I see one again I'll film one and show you guys Oh, that sucks. This one picked up a plastic cup. That's so sad, guys. Every time I see that, it makes me hate human beings for throwing all of this garbage all over the place. It's terrible. You also don't really see many seashells, or really any at all here, on the beach in California. And at a lot of beaches in Florida, you can pick up seashells. In Miami Beach, we have plenty of them. And in some of the beaches we visited, on our trip around Florida there's some beaches that have a ton of seashells everywhere so that's one thing I'm really noticing you really don't see at all here which is kind of curious as well here's another thing to compare the quality of the sand now I have to say the sand quality here in Laguna Beach is very fine it's a very fine quality sand it's very similar to a lot of the beaches in Florida including Miami Beach um, it's a very powdery feeling sand. It's definitely not rough or rocky whatsoever. It's very pleasant to walk through. And the good thing is, is it's the middle of summer and it's only 68 degrees out here. So obviously the sand is not hot. It's no big deal to walk on it barefoot. Now that I'm here in Zuma Beach, I also want to mention that the sand here is the roughest sand that I've encountered so far here in California. So similarly to Florida, the sand at the beach can vary quite a bit depending on which beach you're at. So anybody who's watching this and just thinking, oh, you can't compare just generally Florida to California beaches, and I realize that, but for titling reasons, that's what gets the most views, guys, and that's probably why you clicked on this video, so just remember that. I'm trying to get out here and show you guys the water before it gets too wavy again. I was out here a little bit ago and it was so clear you could see to the bottom 
which I was super surprised to see here in the Pacific, but I think I might have missed my window of opportunity because the waves are picking up again. Now that the sun's out in full force for a minute, you can see how clear the water is today. You can definitely see to the bottom. It's a beautiful day here at the beach in Miami Beach. Okay guys, today I'm actually down in Orange County. I'm here at uh, Laguna Beach. So it's quite a ways down from Manhattan Beach where I was staying before, about an hour south of there. And uh, another big factor I want to point out here is they even have a high surf advisory here today. The water current here is extremely strong today. And I didn't even get in the water today because it just felt too dangerous. You can kind of see the way that the current's moving over here. It's very strong. And even right now, it's very weak compared to what it was a little bit earlier. But I will try to take another clip as soon as I see it raging like before. Yeah, check out these waves, guys. Super powerful today. And there's like this cove. You have to like kind of walk down into the water on top of that. And then it sucks you out. And then the wave comes in and crushes you. So yeah, definitely not good for swimming or just going in for a dip. If you guys enjoyed this beach video, then go ahead and check out my other video on the screen talking about all the differences between living in California versus Florida. I'm sure you guys will enjoy that one and I'll see you guys over there in the next one.